Please, are you ready? This is the Rocket Clock Story Slam. Uh, so it's a monthly storytelling competition where each month up to 10 people have five minutes to tell a story around a particular theme. It's a different theme every month. Um, they're not allowed to have any notes, so it's got to be a, a, a telling, not a reading. And they're meant to be true stories, so things that have actually happened to people, their life experience, rather than, than a fictional story that they've written. Uh, so that is the rule. If you go over five minutes, uh, you will be glassed. <laughs> So we do it here at Bella Union at Trades Hall, which is a great bar, and it's a very comfortable, relaxed environment, and we've had a real variety of people come and tell stories from, you know, some comedians and um, spoken word enthusiasts to, you know, people who have never been on stage before, never held a microphone before, but just wanted to have a go. So it's a really uh, open environment, and yeah, we would encourage everyone to, to come and tell a story. They did a survey, and the 70% of the people put the toilet roll on toilet paper over. So if you do that, you're right. <laughs> I jumped out of bed. Stay away from me! Yeah, so every month there's a different theme. Uh, the one tonight is Small World. And the themes do tend to be quite general, and so they can be interpreted in a number of ways to give people you know, a lot of chance to come up with, with something to tell. Um, we're always looking for new themes as well, so we always welcome ideas if anyone has any. Population less than a thousand. Uh, there's a, a family there that, that walked their pigs every night, and there's a, a black man, and he's known for being black. <laughs> That's as exciting as it gets in small town America. I was trapped. But at this stage, it was escape or nothing. I, I'd come this far, I, I couldn't go back. And that's when I noticed the gap in the fence. <laughs> it was roughly Libby sized, uh, give or take a couple of arms. It's just, there's something really nice in, in storytelling. It's quite a familiar, I guess, art form and way of sharing information. And uh, so people shouldn't be scared. They should be prepared to give it a go. And, one of the things I'm really happy about is how great the audiences have been and really supportive and encouraging and it's, it's a pretty bold thing to get up and have a go and I think everyone who comes to watch, because um, we also just encourage people to come along and, and be in the audience and, and enjoy the stories and I think everyone who does come really appreciates people who are getting up there and you know certainly no heckling or anything, it's just it's a very encouraging environment. And he used to put her in the stroller and wheel her all around South Melbourne. I'll take you home again, Kathleen. I grew up in the country. And for me, the best thing about growing up in the country was when I was old enough to move to the city. And I guess these days with things like Twitter and Facebook and, you know, but that face-to-face -face connection is, is, of sharing stories and tales is becoming less and um, everything's getting reduced to little short text messages and things and this way people have time to kind of craft a story and be a bit clever with language. Reading a novel instead of the Bible. Holy cow. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a small world. <laughs> Been a great night. How has everyone found it? Yeah. It's been a really good night. Again, another round of applause for everyone you saw tonight. Uh, this is a monthly show. Please sign up for the uh, for the email list, and, and you can find out when the next one is.